Affinity Designer 2 still has no trace image option. But I have found a tool which is by far the best tool until now and it will blow your mind. Here we have two bitmap images which I would like to have as vectors. Let's start with the Monopoly guy which is a high resolution and a single color image and should be easy to trace. I can just copy the image from Affinity Designer by selecting and pressing Command C or Control C or just by using the copy item from the context menu in the layers panel. The magic will happen at this website. This website is amazing. We can drag and drop an image but as I have copied the image to the clipboard, I can just use the paste shortcut, Command V or Control V, and it will immediately start processing it. And within seconds, it has vectorized the image. Pretty awesome. On the left, we see our original image, and on the right, the vectorized version. And it looks perfect. We can now press the download button and you will be pleasantly surprised with the options you have. You can select the output format, but there is a lot more options to really fine tune the output. I think this is pretty unique. Pressing the download button will now generate the output based on the settings above and the file will be saved in your downloads folder. When we go back to Affinity Designer, I can just drag and drop the downloaded file into Designer. The file will get imported as an embedded file and it looks perfect. We can double click on the image or in the channels panel to open up the embedded file. As you can see, it made a clean vector image with all the curves available. Some tools make one big curve and it is difficult to modify, but in this case it would be very easy to modify this result. Let's close this and try a more difficult example. Here I have a very low res image with multiple colors. Let's copy this and go back to our browser and paste it. Within seconds it is vectorized and look at the result. It is just amazing how it was able to trace this image. Look at the lines and the curves. I couldn't have done a better job. Let's download this and import it back to Affinity Designer. When I put them side by side and zoom in, you see in more detail how good of a job it did. When we open up the image by double clicking on it, we can see it is a very clean trace with all the elements separately available. What I also like very much is that it was smart enough to use solid colors and there are no strange artifacts or curves. Let's go back to the website and see whether this is a paid service and maybe we use some kind of a trial. When we go back to the main page and scroll down, there is a section about pricing. And as you can see, it is free to use while in beta. It looks like the beta will end in September 15th, but the cost will only be for the API usage. The usage of the web tool will stay free. What else do you want? There's one small disclaimer, as with any web tool, do not upload confidential information. Vectorizer AI, for the time being, is not sharing your image with third parties and removes uploaded files after 5 days. But as they state, this can change in the future. It is better to be safe than sorry. All in all, this is an amazing free surface and I'm using it frequently for tracing images. I hope you found this tip useful and thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think of this and maybe share other tools that you're using. And if you haven't subscribed yet, maybe this is a good time to do so. Until the next video.